there. Welcome back to the Garden of Epiphany. I'm your host, Raven Epiphany, and I'm so glad you decided to join us for another video. Happy New Year to everyone. This is the first video of the year. I hope you guys all enjoyed your holiday season and that you are back into the swing of things, back at work, back into starting your New Year's resolutions if you have started any, and back into your health journey. So today we're actually going to be talking about your why, creating or you know establishing a why for whatever New Year's resolutions you're starting, whatever health routines you have started, whether it be you know at the beginning of the year or any other time, because motivation and energy you wear off but your why is what will keep you grounded what will keep you going when life gets tough when things get busy when you don't feel like it or even when you fall off and you need something to get you back into the swing of things and so I wanted to share my why with you guys and then I want to hear about yours so for me when I first started my health journey the reason or the thing that kind of inspired me was looking at my great aunts they are awesome women they're in their 90s before the pandemic they were traveling the world you know just living life on their own still you know fully functioning and, and in good health and I said to myself girl you're not gonna grow to be 90 and thriving if you are eating Papa John's every day if you are neglecting working out if you are just drinking endless caffeine to stay awake and not paying attention to actually getting good sleep etc so that's what initiated my health journey and of course it wasn't a wake up and everything changes type thing there were various areas of my life that I attacked one by one and you know it's still a journey where I'm learning and unlearning things but yeah that was my initial why that was a thing that set me off to be intentional about my health and then now my why is kind of you know continued on and grown into making sure that I'm taking care of this borrowed body. And so in another video, I talked about how, you know, our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies are not our own. You know, they, they were a gift, something that is loaned out to us by God. And we're supposed to take care of them so that, you know, we are able to continue on and maintain, you know, this rented body. And also I want to make sure that I am able to fulfill everything that God intends for me to fulfill. I'm able to be in good health so that I can utilize my gifts to the full capacity, be in full health so that I can reach whoever God intends for me to reach and be in full health so that my health is not a stumbling block that is blocking me from doing those things. And so, and then in addition to that, I also wanted to break generational patterns. And so uh, back last February, I talked about some of the health disparities that exist in the black community. And some, a lot of those actually exist in my family line. You know, I do have my great aunts who are awesome, who are living and thriving, but there's also, you know, many people living and who have gone on to glory who, you know, did have high blood pressure, did have uh, diabetes and some of the other conditions. And I want to be intentional about looking at my health now so that I can ideally avoid those things and set new patterns. Which brings me into my last point, my last part of my why, is that I want to be healthy and well for my future children. Not only do I want to be healthy enough to watch them grow up and to be, you know, their mother at every stage of their lives, you know, including when they get to adulthood, but also I want to be intentional about changing whatever patterns that I am utilizing now to be, you know, set a good, healthy foundation for them so that when they grow up, they're growing into this. They don't necessarily have to do unlearning and relearning. I mean, obviously, you know, new information, they come into new information there, there may be some changes that they have to make, but I want them to grow up with, you know, a good, healthy foundation for them to grow into, setting new patterns for them that they can just excel from there. And that's not to say that my parents didn't set overall healthy uh, foundations for me, you know, overall eating healthy, overall caring about my body, getting exercise, etc. But they, you know, did what they knew at that time. And now I'm continuing that and learning all that I can learn so that I can do the same and more for my future children. And so that, that pattern is what continues. And so closing this video to say, what is your why? What is going to keep you going? You know, what is going to reset you when you fall off? What is going to motivate you when, you know, natural motivation wears off? Because that is not something that, you know, just naturally continues for a long term, a long period of time. And so what's going to ground you? What is motivating you? Who are you doing it for? If it's for yourself, why? If it's for your children, you know, what is it that you hope that you pursuing this health journey will do for you? Ooh, a bug, sorry. You or future generations. <laughs> Anyway, that is the end of this video. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I hope that your new year is off to a wonderful start. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Have a healthy and wholesome week.
Thank you.